On Thursday, the U.S. Senate cleared a crucial 60 vote threshold to advance billions of dollars in aid for Ukraine and Israel. But today it became clear that the bill still faces some hurdles, especially in the Republican led House. Our Washington correspondent Brendan Scanlon has the very latest on Capitol Hill tonight. Ukraine's war with Russia continues as Congress is still deadlocked on providing more aid. If they are able to protect their country, then that means we don't have to bring American uh, soldiers in to fight in future fights. Republicans originally wanted to make a deal, comprehensive border changes before any more aid is sent to Ukraine. Finding compromise on the border took months of bipartisan negotiating until this week when the 370-page bill, which included foreign aid and border changes, was released. That's off the table at the moment because we can't get a Republican support for the border bill. But Republicans said it didn't go far enough to curb illegal crossings. The bill was killed on Wednesday leaving many Democrats, including Michigan's Debbie Stabenow, disappointed. I was really upset, frankly, to see that we, we had a bipartisan agreement, took over four months to get. Now it appears the Senate will ditch the border effort for the time being and work solely on passing the more than $95 billion foreign aid bill. A huge bill that will help secure our leadership role uh, in the world in terms of security our security as well as supporting allies. The bill cleared a significant procedural hurdle on Thursday, but a final vote could be delayed due to some GOP opposition. The Senate is expected to work through the weekend. Leaders hope to take a final vote next week so the aid can be sent to the House, where it will face strong opposition. Reporting in Washington, Brendan Scanlon, WENY News.